Again, you know what it is, man. Stop and be serious. Listen, I used to do a lot of stuff called it um social sciences. Well, social sciences, well, I backed off for a minute, started talking about politics. You almost got me. You almost got me in to talk about this bullshit, but keep it 100 with you. I don't care enough to keep talking about it. So we will talk about some things that do matter to me. Some things like, you know, having kids out of wedlock. 73% in the African American community are born to a single parent. Now, before you all run jumping out, oh, that's because you're born to a single parent. <laughs> Doesn't mean that the kid's gonna turn out screwed up. You're right. And just because you drive on three wheels in a four wheel car, doesn't mean you're not gonna get there. I'm just saying, you get there a lot easier if you had all four wheels. But let's move past that. How can we fix that? Because it's not about the parents. Don't let your ego get you caught out there. Let's fix it. I got an idea. How about eliminate child support? How's that gonna fix it? That's stupid. Now the guys are gonna get away scot-free. They already not paying child support. Exactly. A lot of these dudes already not paying child support. So here's part two to that plan. You know who the biological father is? That's who gets custody. Now I know some of you women are upset. Wait a minute, this isn't gonna work because the child needs his mother. You're right, but don't worry about that. It'll never get that far. You know why? Because these same dudes who ain't taking care of these kids financially ain't gonna take care of the kids. They will start wrapping that little pee-pee up. Now let's think about that. If you're a woman, and you know you're not going to get child support, no matter what happens, ain't going to be no more of that trapping. And ain't going to be no more of that, oh, it was just an accident, but it's okay. Because now, the father is going to have to pay. I'll take him to court. No, you won't. No, you won't. You start thinking about who you open your legs up to, huh, jump off. I mean, young lady. Oh, fellas, don't think you off the hook. You little nasty ass out there calling every chick a hoe, but you still having sex with her. So, it's good enough to sleep with him, she's good enough to have a baby with him. But don't worry, little bastard gonna be yours now. Don't call him a bastard, it's the dictionary, look it up, it's not my fault. Stop it, B, come on, man. Think without your dick sometime, fellas. And ladies, don't, don't feed into what you're seeing on TV, it's not all a party, man. Kim Kardashian, if Kim Kardashian is the person that you idolize, you know, think about it. You make a sex tape, nobody wants to see that. The only reason we want to see her sex tape is because, well, she got cakes. Come on, man. Keep it moving. But the second part to that, social science. I'm moving on. I'm going to fix some things that's wrong with the world. Second thing we're going to fix is divorce. 50% of all marriages in the divorce. You know what I think you should do? Since the government's all in my business and want to tell me who can get married and who can't get married, where, how I can get married and how I can't get married, Mormons can't even have, you know what I mean, more than one wife. That seems a little unfair to me. Seems like their rights are being violated. Hell, Mitt Romney's family had to move to Mexico so they could marry five or six women at a time. That's right, Mitt Romney's Mexican. Anyway, moving on. What I'm saying is, let's eliminate divorce. You sign that contract, bitch. You keep that contract. You can't break contracts anywhere else. There's no other rules for breaking contracts. Only contract you can break is the marriage contract. I say, stop breaking the marriage contract. Make them stay married. Then, you stop jumping your little hot ass in there so you can get some bands. Bands that make her say yes? Yeah. Well, ain't no way for her to say no. I hope them bands will keep you for the rest of your life, Huffer. You don't like these rules, do you? Stop it, B. Stop making fucked up life decisions, man. Stop asking the government to fix your problems. Make better decisions, you know what I mean? And maybe you have some... I, why am I even telling you people that? You don't care. This isn't comedy. You're trying to... Shut the fuck up. I'm having fun. Eat a dick. <laughs>